I started making these sketches in August. All of them were made in Galway, which is my little town on the west of Ireland. So the first couple of sketches, I don't know, they're not up to much really, a bicycle, a boat. But this is done in the Galway market in the bread, on one of the bread stalls. And I painted with a water brush, which is a really convenient way to paint because it means you don't have to bend down to your water pot. And what does that mean? It means you can paint standing up. I love listening to snippets of conversation. And I discovered while I was here that the young girl you can see there on the left, she was off to Bavaria to work as an au pair shortly after that weekend. There was a man who arrived with a, with three toddlers and I recorded his conversation. Seriously, lads, you're wrecking my head now. The three toddlers, there was two little boys and one little baby girl, big baby girl, she was in her pram. And the little boys were trying to feed her an apple, her apple, in fact, that had fallen on the ground and she wasn't having any of it. So I love little things like that. Really, really, really good fun. Now, this one was painted at the Long Walk in Galway. So Galway is an Atlantic town. We're right on the sea, next stop America. Um, and the River Corrib flows into the Atlantic at this at this point here. And there's a row of um, very nice kind of buildings, houses and so on, traditional uh, West of Ireland buildings on the banks. And I painted, you can see the little cormorant there. Um, I painted the Galway Hooker traditional boat in a watercolour brush first. I didn't use any pen, I only added pen afterwards because it's a good way to, uh, it's a good way to get shapes without worrying about making mistakes in pen and then for the background I just did pen and ink and one colour like this monochrome dark bluey grey by Roman Schmal. Very useful colour I have to say. The workshop took place at the end of August and I was very fortunate to have my own my very own mum Cinny to take part in the workshop. Here we are the following day on the flaggy shore which is in County Clare um, and it's all these like limestone pavements and you can walk you can walk it down the pavements at low tide. It's very rocky and I love being there, it's really nice. But that's a real picture of my mum, Cinny. That's a very quick capture of what she looks like. So very happy to have that drawing. These drawings were when I started uh, designing a watercolour sketching course for beginners. And I thought that if I gave my students um, nature's, nature subjects, they would um, realise that it's open to everybody. You can just grab something from the nearby hedge. And I suppose the lavender is a bit like that as well. You can see here, I was trying to show how simple it can be to do water. That one there is a quick sketch done while waiting for my daughter to, to meet me off the bus after school. And that's a real uh, brain on standby drawing. We just start drawing for, for no reason other than just filling in the time. But it can be all the more pleasurable for that. This is the pier, um, the little harbour down the road for me. It's about two and a half, three miles down the road. And I've sketched it so many times in all kinds of weather conditions. And on this day, I decided to paint it just with one colour and then the two pops of colour for the boats. Um, and I used it as a subject for class to demonstrate how values um, are, are shown. You can see the little boats there. But how just one colour, it's a really good way to show how darkening up your colours can make such a difference. You can see I've, I've shown the, the difference in shade just with that one colour in layers. So this one I don't think much of. Um, I, it was for an Instagram live one night. Um, well, I love I love broadcasting out to my followers, but I just grabbed these two empty cans off the kitchen table and went out. Um, and I love all the comments from my, my followers. It's great crack. Here's some rose hips from my garden. And um, the colour ran into the um, pink petals you can see there and I thought it looked nice at the time but I re really regret not cleaning it off because it didn't stay looking nice once it dried and um, you can see here how I caught the highlights of the uh, of the berries by leaving that little pop of white and um, my son Paddy and um, Paddy is 21 and he loves going off sketching with his mum so the two of us go off together so this is one of our earlier uh, ventures together we went off to the Corrib tea rooms in Galway city um, and you can see Paddy sitting there and then you can see his reflection you can see his reflection just behind him um, and then you can see there's his reflection look there and then there's me looking into the mirror then again um, that was a lot of fun um, he wasn't sketching in the car to room so the, after that it was a very drizzly day and we went out and sat in my car and um, the two of us sat side by side in the front seat and we looked out the window and drew Galway Cathedral so we drew the same subject and it was good for Paddy because I was able to tell him exactly what I was doing same subject he was 
Um, apples from my garden, this is for the series that I was doing on Saturday classes called uh, Autumn Bounty. Um, these are from my own, my own garden and it's these lovely shiny red apples. Now my students actually brought their, um, they, they did, I painted my own apple in class live during the class and then they painted their own apples for their own recipes, illustrated recipes and I was delighted with the results. They just looked absolutely amazing. Um, this was done on my first day of college in GTI. Um, this was our induction day at the middle of September. And I painted the little cup there, the table, and this little starling perched on the chair opposite the man. Now, that, that, he's one of those guys who comes there um, nearly every day. And you can see him here doing his crossword in the newspaper. Um, but it was a, a time of great promise that I was really looking forward to in the college. Um, and I love painting people outside cafes. I really, really enjoy that. You can see the highlights here to give a little bit of movement um, and light, lightness of touch to the subject. Here's another day off sketching with Patty. We went to the docks in Galway Bay and I recorded it by doing the Otis Reading song and putting my own lyrics in, sitting on the dock of the bay, watching my son paint away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, sketching fine. So we really enjoyed uh, ourselves that day and even though I only made the slightest of adjustments to Paddy's sketch because um, he, he asked for some help with it but I think the fact that the adjustment I made was so small it made him realise that just the smallest of the differences can make a big difference to the overall result. Here's another from the Autumn Bounty sec uh, segment that I was doing on Saturdays. So these pine cones are growing on a little tree, I don't know what type of species it is but they are lining the path from my studio to the house and those pine cones they hold an awful lot of water and they choose the moment that I am walking underneath them to release their water but uh, I showed the students a lot how to do the water in the jar um, because it's really simple when you're just observing and looking really really well. The next one is back to that cafe where I was sketching that, that old guy doing the crossword. But this is seen from the outside and I stuck to um, the, the people outside. So I really enjoyed doing them. They're always there. You can never get a seat because those guys are stuck to the chairs. Um, I also did the very bright brand colours um, of the cafe. So the hot pink, you can see it there in the lettering. Um, the hot pink and then combined with the, the just the dark blue grey of the darks. So I just kept it to one colour and then the skin tones. So you can see a close up of the people there. Quite nice, quite fresh. Really enjoyed doing the pictures of the cups, cups of coffee on the windows as well. That was fun. But a lovely sunny day and a really nice um, experience. Really nice thing to do. Back to the long walk. Um, you saw that at the beginning where I did the Galway hooker in paint and the houses in just monochrome. Well, this is the opposite. Oh, I was with my uh, my little niece, Rosina. So Paddy and Rosina, my niece, Paddy's cousin. Um, and she lives in Spain, but she's come over to Ireland to work to study in Limerick University. There's the colorful houses that uh, line the walls. And you can see how different it looks um, at low tide. Really, really big difference. Um, by putting a person in the middle, in the middle ground, it really gives a good depth of field. So if you do have that opportunity, I do recommend you give that a try. So more from my Autumn Bounty series, um, stumbled practically on these mushrooms from my garden. Um, thought they were dead leaves actually to begin with, but um, but they were mushrooms and it turned out they were called babelettes. Um, they are edible but not that tasty, so I won't be having them again. Um, they certainly don't look very appetizing. That's a puff ball there beside them. I didn't eat that fella because I definitely wouldn't just eat it. This one is um, a very random drawing for International Coffee Day. Just drawing for the sake of drawing, just a packet of coffee beans from one of the German discount retailers. Not a lot more to say about that one. Here's a trip to a another cafe near the college that I was attending, GTI, just opposite it actually. Um, and I had, I just drew the coffee and the waitresses who were having a laugh. And that was very, very enjoyable. Now the, co the croissant I actually added at a later date, um, I did that at home because I had a blank corner and I wanted to do something with it. Chose a plate to match match the colours. So these ones are from, again, the Autumn Bounty series. These ones are done in 
pencil and watercolor. I was trying to channel this guy I discovered on Instagram called Konstantin Dvornikov. I really like his style, so check him out if you if you see that. And he does this kind of writing as well, which looks a little bit like some kind of vintagey writing. It doesn't come naturally to me though. <laughs> so this is back to my more original style, my more uh, regular style where I draw in a, a fountain ink so I used a brown ink here and I used the same technique for this one here which is quince both of these quince and medlar tree are from my garden but um you can decide for yourself uh, which which method you prefer I think the ink comes not more naturally as you can see this poor old tree got attacked by some fungus and uh, as a result I had very few quinces this year this was back in Galway City I think this was the day I decided I didn't have time to do college but this is just up the road um, from the college near the river that you saw at the beginning of the book some dead leaves some bicycles and some some green leaves that are on their way to going brown um, made a beautiful little composition as did the young woman who sat there um, for a split second just long enough for me to get her shape and then she moved um, back to another uh, cafe, another another cafe, another sketching session with Paddy. Um, I wasn't particularly hungry that day, so I left my flapjack long enough for it to be painted. Um, now you look at the ceramic effect on the teapot and on the cup, um, and that's achieved. That ceramic effect is achieved by those highlights that are not touched with brush and the same with the cup um, you can see the layering effect there of the paint and also the highlights as well they make a big big difference but definitely a lovely subject to do when it's raining and Paddy wasn't pleased with the sketch that day so we went off and went to O'Hare's and painted croissant side by side his is absolutely amazing he was delighted with himself um, so yeah that's that this has got a quite a big empty space around the back of it and so I'm probably going to go back to O'Hare's, I'd say, and fill in maybe some more of the cakes from the from the from the stall, from the from the window where all the cakes were kept. So getting a little bit more recent here, these are some ornamental pumpkins, which I always love doing. And I used orange and yellow ink by uh, the orange is by Roaring Klingner and the yellow is by Diatromantis. Um, but I used the same colorings, the orange and yellow, to get my sort of confidence zone. I got, I found it gave me sort of permission to be very scribbly with the gourds bef until I got my confident um, place. And then I could use darker inks like I did on this one. This one is also using some orange and yellow inks, but I used um, the Atramentus Burnt Sienna, uh, Urban Sienna, Urban Sienna document ink. And the candles are, and I, uh, you can see I added some dead leaves and so on just to make a, a nice little composition. I did the, the lettering as well, just because I think it looks really, really good. And then the, for, to make the candles, what you do is you make the lovely yellow shape and then in the teardrop shape, and then you darken up really, really deep, dark colors around the flames. It's very effective. So this one is from my last YouTube, um, where I went up to Tyrone House and I sketched in there. I had a really nice afternoon, actually. Um, it was really nice. It didn't rain on me till the very, very end got away with it and lastly but not least this one is just recent um very last page of my book i bought this bottle of um, mona uh, I, it's pumpkin spice it was actually gingerbread spice that's the only bottle i could get because i wanted to draw the bottle in life you if you can at all really really try to get the uh the actual subjects in front of you um like so i put latte into my daughter's nice cup and i got those nice reflections showing on it and i uh, stuck some cinnamon sticks into the cup as well and the bottle of syrup um, came out really well with all those those highlights and glassy, glassy patches. But you should it's really fun to be a food stylist. And uh, so make your own little little still life um, and see what you come up with. So there you go. There is my sketches from August to October. It's a lovely way to capture the the seasons in, in a book um, and it's just something that's really nice to look back on. So to have them all together in a book like that, I highly recommend you keep a sketchbook and show those seasons you'll enjoy it